Welcome back. Let's continue here now. Kenya's presidential debate gets underway in a few minutes with one of the main candidates absent. Former Prime Minister Raila Odinga will not attend the debate according to his campaign secretariat, which says Odinga cannot share a platform with his opponent, Deputy President William Ruto, whom they accuse of lack of integrity. We're now joined live from the debate venue by our reporter Sarah Kimani, who is in Nairobi. Sarah, thank you so much for your time this afternoon well less than an hour to go before the presidential candidates face off and already some interesting developments Sarah give us a sense of what's happening now Indeed, uh, the first tire of the debate has started. Uh, the one that uh, is about an hour ago, is an, an hour ahead, is the one that was to pit uh, Deputy President William Ruto against uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. What is happening right now, also a strange turn of events, is a monologue uh, by one of the other presidential candidates, Waihige Mwaura. I say a monologue because his opponent, the person that he was supposed to debate, uh, presidential candidate, Professor John George has also dropped off at the last minute, saying that uh, he was not going to take part in a debate with just two people. Instead, he says uh, that it should have been a debate of all the presidential candidates. The campaigns, the, the, the secretariat that is organizing the debate, however, says it has been divided into two segments. One uh, is the one that has people that uh, have scored less than 5% in the opinion polls. And then there's the one that was uh, the main one of Raila Odin versus William Ruto. Perhaps Sarah, give us uh, you know, an indication who are the participants and the candidates um, of this debate. Well, uh, initially, there were going to be all the four presidential candidates. That is uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, Deputy President William Ruto, and the two lawyers, uh, Professor George Wajakoya and Wahiga Maura. Now, uh, Wahiga Maura is on his own right now. That debate has already started. And we expect that uh, William Ruto will also be on his own. Uh, there are four uh, presidential candidates in this race and 22.1 million registered voters. How has the reaction been, you know, to Odinga's absence? I mean, we're hearing, uh, you know, from other reports that uh, apparently Ruto he sa had said or had demanded that, um, you know, some critical topics like corruption, integrity, ethics and governance not be part of the debate. You know, how has that, first of all, are those reports true? And secondly, how has the reaction been, particularly uh, from Kenyans? Well, uh, Ruto had insisted that uh, he does not want side shows to be debated. He says that uh, issues of personalities, issues uh, to deal with uh, corruption were really dragged on during the deputy president's uh, debate, which happened exactly a week ago here. And so he was saying this should be a chance uh, for him to present or for the candidates to present their manifestos to be able to say what they will do for the country. However, uh, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, in fact, a few, minister, a few minutes ago in a public rally has said that our Deputy President William Ruto is corrupt. Uh, he says that uh, he lacks integrity. And so he says he himself, as a uh, former Prime Minister, uh, is above board. And he says he cannot share a platform with Ruto, saying that that would be uh, trying to assist or to help his campaign, which they say is failing. However, uh, Ruto insists that uh, 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 Raila has chickened out. Now, yesterday we spoke to uh, a cross-section of Kenyans in Nairobi and most of them were saying it would have been good for Raila to come uh, and debate Ruto and present the issues. If it is issues of corruption then he should have come and presented them. Indeed the sponsors of the debate, the Media Owners Association, the Campaign Secretariat, they all say it would have been good for Odinga to come and be able to present his issues. We are still waiting. It's, uh, we saw during the governor's debate, one of the candidates had said he would not be attending. And when the debate was underway, he walked in. So people are still holding their breath saying maybe Odinga may turn up. And I mean, the question is, you know, why does it really matter, you know, having these debates? Because we know the jury is out uh, on whether debates change anything in terms of voting patterns.
Well, uh, in this particular election, which is very competitive, and if you, if you have been looking at the opinion polls, it is very close to call as yet. And one of the deal breakers was going to be Professor George Wajakoya, who has managed to attract uh, a great number of young people if opinion polls are anything to go by, uh, but he too will not be participating. But also, uh, the opinion polls have shown there are more than 20% of the uh, registered voters who may be undecided. And so a lot of people saying, and political analysts saying, this would be a way of those who have not yet decided then to be able to make their decision once they are able to gauge uh, this uh, presidential candidates away from the rhetoric that happens in political campaigns. Some like pre uh, former uh, Deputy President William Ruto have been campaigning uh, since 2017 and so people have heard him over and over. Uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga just picked up uh, probably two years ago so all of them would have wanted to hear away from the political rhetoric what else can be said and maybe those who have not yet made their decisions can make it but it is also a way of uh, Kenya showing that its democracy has come of age and so it is something that Kenyans have looked forward to I'll tell you the deputy presidential debate according to the media Council of Kenya was watched by the televised debate was watched by 34 million people so they're seeing this as a way also of uh, you know improving democracy or being part of the democratic process in the country Absolutely. Of course, there is a significance there then. Uh, Sarah Kimani, let's leave it there for now. Sarah Kimani coming to us live there from Nairobi following the Kenya's presidential debate. So let's leave it there for now.